Hey guys, Andy Black here. Thanks for stopping by. If you are looking for hot prospects and the perfect clients to offer your digital services to, whether it's web design, search engine optimization, social media, video creation, whatever it is that you are offering, I want to show you how to find the perfect clients. Okay, so what you see here is my brand new software tool called Web Prospector. Um, now, I wanted to create a tool that would allow people to really zone in and pinpoint the perfect clients to be able to approach to pitch your digital services to. So um, when you open the software, you will see at the minute there are three choices. I'm going to look at adding some more countries here, but we have the United States, United Kingdom and Canada. So any of these countries, we can tap into millions of businesses, okay, and we retrieve a ton of data about them. So I'm going to click on the United States. Okay, then what you would do is you would type in an industry or a niche, literally any industry or niche. So I'm going to type in plumbers and then you would type in a location because I've selected the United States. It would be obviously um, in the United States. So you could type in something like uh, New Jersey. Um, I'm going to select a TLD. Um, I'm going to leave it on .com. I'll explain a little bit more about that in a minute. And then I'm going to click enhance results because I want the software to process and analyze and retrieve uh, a lot of data per business and then i'm going to select all results okay so the software will delve in and get me as many results as possible um who are plumbers in the new jersey or the new jersey area and then all you would do then is click find businesses and i'm not going to click this now because i've selected all results it's literally going to get me around two and a half to three thousand businesses and it's going to process so i've done this process a bit earlier so i'm just going to open the csv file but it has allowed me to export from a software. So I'm gonna show you how um, we can use this data to find a number of um, you know, different prospects depending on the services that we would offer. So if you look down here, you can see um, there's literally thousands of businesses, okay? And I'm gonna go through the columns in a minute and then I'm gonna show you how you can basically sort this data to find um, the hottest prospects to be able to approach to sell your services to okay you can see here we have 2611 results right so i'll go through the columns quickly we have the business name okay we have the exact match domain so what the software does it automatically converts the business name into an emd an exact match domain name and because i selected com on the previous uh, screen in the dashboard it converts it to a .com. You can see we've got tigerplumbing.com, um, et cetera, et cetera. Then what it does for every business is um, it tells us if that domain name, the exact match domain name, which would be an easy sell to a business, um, if it's available to register or not. So you can see here we've got a lot of yeses. We've got some no's, okay? Um, it tells us the domain length. So this is just basically short, medium, or long. Um, the shorter the name, if it's available, that's going to be an easier sell. Okay, um, the domain uh, the domain character length. So if we wanna just sort by character length, we can do that. The telephone number, obviously very important if we want to sell um, uh, you know, services to businesses. For those of us who want to outsource it, someone to call them, or if you want to call them, you've got the telephone number there. Okay, uh, the location. So we selected New Jersey and we've got things like South um, Plainfield, Newark, um, South Hackensack, Irvington, etc., Staten Island. So it tells you the uh, the location of where um, the business is located. Um, now this is the interesting bit, especially if you want to sell web design services or if you build websites. Um, current web address. So these are pulled from a major search engine, okay? And uh, if it says no existing web address, it means that there isn't a web address listed for that business. So a lot of these business uh, businesses won't actually have uh, web addresses. Some of them have, some of them haven't. Um, for those of them that don't, obviously you can provide a full service too. You know, uh, web design build, search engine optimization, um, mobile friendly website, etc. Okay. Um, here we've got the load time, so you can see. I mean, here we've got some uh, slow loading websites, fourteen seconds, seventeen seconds. These are really slow. Um, so obviously you could, um, you know, any of these businesses you could approach, and you could be, hey, you realise that you're losing. Um, visitors from your site because your site's taking too uh, long to load. Google will obviously be penalizing your, your um, rankings as well, no doubt, because it's taking too long to load and they don't like slow websites, etc., etc. So there's lots of different angles in there. 
Um, then this column identifies if they have got a website, does it have a video on the home page? You can see a lot of these don't. There's one here that does. Uh, yes, there's one here that does. So um, if we don't have a, a video on the website, um, then you know video is a, a great medium to be um, selling to. It's a, a great way to sell. It's a great way to get your branding across and the services and products that your your prospect could, could you know offers. So you know you could create a video for them, get it on the website. You could rank it. You could do whatever you like with it. Um, in this column here, we've got the meta title. If they've got a website, um, a meta description. It tells you if they've got H tags uh, on the. Uh, website if we've got all image tags if they don't have any of these like these two here don't it means they don't even have even have basic SEO so that's a, a, a website a company that obviously has no SEO in place and um, so you could jump in offer to you know optimize their website do some SEO maybe some link building etc and increase their rankings and you could have you know monthly recurring income from that potentially um, uh, these columns here tells you if they are linking out if they've got a website if they're linking out to Facebook um, you know to a Facebook page Instagram or Twitter so if they're not doing that do they not have social media if they, if they have got social media why aren't they linking out to them it's a it's a very good foot in the door um, to be able to offer that advice to them and then see what services you can actually help them with um, then we've got here is it a mobile friendly website you can see um, these ones are not there's a few here that are so it's great for weeding out those um, that don't and letting them know again the you know the damage in the search engine rank rankings they are um, potentially losing business a lot of people browse the web via their mobile phone and uh, more and more people are doing that and if they have a website that looks horrendous or it doesn't load or it looks clunky or half of the contents missing then they're, they're gonna lose that business okay and here we've got schema markup. Uh, it's getting more and more important these days. Structured data on the website. Um, you, you know, if you're not sure exactly what that is, you can Google it and get a bit more information. But this will um, analyze every single site uh, with these businesses and tell you if they've got schema markup present on their site or not. And in this column here, uh, the software will attempt to um, get an email address from their website. So if they have a website on their web, uh, an email address on their website, then it will crawl that as well as you can see there's a handful here um, it's picked up most of these ones here so it, it will attempt to do that okay so you can send them an email um, so what I want to do now before I sign off this video is to give you an example um, of how you would find different types of prospects so let's say we are looking for um, prospects businesses who don't have a website so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna filter this list down okay and we are only going to select the no existing web address found. We're gonna select that. Then let's say um, we wanna go one step further. We want to entice a business by saying, hey, you realize that you own, um, you know, for example, Tiger Plumbing, and I can set you up with a website that has tigerplumbing.com, I can set up emails for you, um, et cetera, et cetera. Obviously, um, this particular one here is not available, but that's the type of thing you would do. So what we're gonna do here is, um, we're going to put availability and we're just going to select yes. We only want to see the people who don't have a website and where their website um, is, uh, where their domain name is available. So we're going to click um, yes on that one. And then let's say we don't want long business names, long dom domain names. We want to have something that's short and snappy and it's going to be an easier sell. So we're just going to eliminate uh, the long option from there. And that leaves us with 734 leads, 734 businesses, prospects that you can call get in touch with and offer to build them a website um, with their domain name, okay? Um, like we've got here, littleferryplumber.com, um, fordsplumber.com, um, 24hourplumbingstore.com. You know, all of these are a really, um, a really good sell if you can pitch it right to them, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna clear these and I'm gonna give you some more examples. Um, by the way, if you're interested in this software, um, I've set up a YouTube only coupon that's going to give you a discount so feel free to you'll see a link in the description okay um, if you are needing support then you, there'll also be a sub, my support desk link beneath below that as well if you've got any questions or if you do buy it and if you've got any problems or anything like that you know just click that link submit a support ticket and my support team will take care of that for you and I also overlook uh, my support team as well so I'll be on hand if there's any um, questions or anything like that 
um, or feel free to drop a comment. Okay, so let's say we want to find um, people who are businesses that have a website, okay, um, but have don't have any SEO on the site, you know, the basic things like header tags, alt image tags. So what we're gonna do here is we are going to just eliminate this one here and this uh, no existing web address because we only want people who, who do have a web address, okay? Um, then what we're gonna do is we are going to um, select H tags and we only want to display the ones who, who don't have them present and, all, and also um, alt image tags. So we wanna match both of these criteria, okay? And that leaves us with 343 um, potential clients who have a website and don't have any basic SEO on their site whatsoever, okay? Um, so let's have a look at some of other options. So I'm gonna clear um, this, okay? So we got all our results back. Now let's have a look at uh, slow loading websites. Um, you know, a lot of businesses won't even know. They might be aware, but they might not be aware actually this is a problem, you know? And it's going to damage their business, especially since uh, the last two or three years where it's been quite a big thing with Google to have a slow loading website. You know, um, site load speed is very important. So what we're going to do here is we're, we're going to eliminate these two options again. So we only are left with the businesses who have a website. And then we're going to just basically uh, do a custom sort. Oh, hang on a second. Oh, hang on. I have to just do this. It's getting quite late here, by the way, in the UK, and my brain is a little bit tired, so I apologize if I'm uh, rambling a little bit. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do a custom sort and uh, load time, largest to smallest, um, and it's already done, actually, in fact. It was done from before, I think. So you can see here um, that we have uh, websites that are loading 20 seconds, 17 seconds, 14 seconds, all of these. Anything really over three seconds, two to three seconds is considered slow. So you could reach out to these businesses here, you know, with a telephone number um, and basically reach out to them and let them know that they have a slow loading website and it's potentially doing a lot of damage and losing them custom. OK, so if you know how to speed up a website, optimize the speed or do a bit of YouTube searching, if you're prepared to do that for them, you can charge them a fee for it. OK. Um, another option, um, let's just have a look and see what else we've got. Right, here's another Here's another big one, okay. Uh, mobile friendly data. So this is probably gonna be the last one I'm gonna show you because you can go on and on with this, um, you know, with the social media, with the video on the homepage, etc. But let's have a look at um, sites that, um, with them. let's have a look here, with the mobile, non-responsive, mobile responsive websites. So we're just gonna click no. And you can see here we've got 717. Um, businesses that do not have a mobile friendly website out of those 2,600 odd businesses. So there's 717 there that their website will not display properly on a mobile. Now that's in 2019, that is shocking, okay? So again, if you know how to do that, or you can learn how to do that little skill, you can do that for them because all of these businesses, most of these businesses um, either don't have a clue um, how to operate a website properly and how to um, leverage leverage that website um, or they don't know how to so they don't they don't know how to um, or they're not interested and they would rather pay somebody because that's not their their you know these are plumbers these guys aren't web designers they're not search engine optimization experts um, they're not social media experts or video creators okay these are plumbers so they will make money plumbing and they will be gladly pay you a fee to take care of this uh, these types of issues for them, okay? So again, um, if you're interested in this software, um, click the link in the bottom. They'll uh, I'll create a, a special page. It'll have the coupon code there. Um, but if you click that, uh, you know, click the buy button, it should auto apply and um, you'll get a discount. So again, if you've got any questions other than that, the support desk link will be beneath that as well. And me and my staff will gladly take care of you. Thanks for watching this video. And if you do jump on board, I'll see you on the inside. And I hope that you find a lot of hot prospects. Thanks for watching.